One one five days later anyway. And then he's second just three weeks after that. Yes, his first PDC titles came along like buses at the back end of last year. Two in a row in Wigan and Barnsley. First leg is Yaka to throw first. Game on. And so it is the Finnish World Cup start. Yako Kamula, who joined the PDC in 2009, qualified for the World Championships a year after that. Up against the history maker, Brendan Dolan. If you don't know, he's got that nickname for being the first player to hit a nine dart finish in a double start format that's played at the World Grand Prix in Dublin. Back in 2011, he achieved that feat. I've certainly seen Finland's Yanni Havisto here this weekend. That's very unlucky from Kamula, a bounce out. I'm not sure if it was 60 or 20. But yeah, uh, Kamula's World Cup of Darts partner. I've seen him here cheering on Yarko. Not sure if he's here today. They did achieve some great things at the World Cup together. Managed to knock out Holland. Dream team of Michael Van Gerwen and Raymond Van Barneveld. Very dangerous customers, the top two players in Finland. Part of the Scandinavian darts circuit. And this pace may well suit both players with them both. Very considered and deliberate throwing style. Yeah, they won't be rushed. Brendan hit a fantastic 167 checkout to beat Ronnie Hybrex last night. Yeah, shot of the tournament for me, that one. 6 4 under real pressure at the time. Had he lost that leg, it would have been Hybrex throwing for the match in the decider. A 96 and a half average. Well, there you go. He's looking at the bullseye now for Brendan Dolan. And well, he was a lot closer than when he was thrown for the ball to decide who threw first. Yoko Kamula, 137, that leaves him 77. It may be treble 19 he looks at, it was, but he's not hit it. So Brendan will be back for 25, and this will be the first leg on the board, and it'd be against the Kamula throw. Potential 14 dart leg for Brendan. He wants double eight to get that early break of throw. Yes, job done by the man from Belku in Northern Ireland. And uh, it would be something to set up an all-Northern Ireland clash in the quarter-finals. Mickey Mansell seeing off Joe Cullen in the previous match on stage. And fair to say, a contrast of styles between this match and our next one. Dave Chisnell up against Adrian Lewis, our next third-round tie here yeah. in Veldhoven. Yeah, if both of those guys play as we know they can. It is going to be a cracker. This is the second European Tour event of 2014. The next one is Easter weekend in Berlin. The German Masters being played Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So the finals day, Easter Monday. I was speaking to Sebastian who helps organise the tournaments here in Europe. He said that Michael Van Gerwen's promised to be there. Simon Whitlock will be there. Peter Wright will be there. Raymond Van Barneveld will definitely be trying to qualify. And if you want uh, details of tickets for that and the rest of the European tour that takes us to Austria and also to Gibraltar, then the uh, website is pdc-europe.tv. Well, this is a very strong start to the match here from Brendan Dolan. Kamula's not playing too badly. 59. Brendan started off very, very well, averaging 114 at the minute. I know it's very early days, but look at that straight in that treble 20 bed. Doesn't need to go the ball route, that's why he's gone for 16s. 
nice well, he's just it. setting it up. Would have gone 14 for Bullseye if Kamula were on a finish. He may not be on a finish after this visit. And he won't be. So Brendan can just take his time here. And there we go. It's a nice little stroll through this one to start off with for Brendan Dolan. He's nailed a double eight. He's nailed a double 16. He's averaging 107. This is going pretty much according to plan. But can Kamula throw a spanner in the works in the way of a 180? The first one of the match. It's Kamula's sixth of the tournament. Yes, Camilla won't want to let Dolan get too much further in front. With it just being first to six. But if Dolan continues at this sort of rate, he will be comfortably through to the quarterfinals to set up the last eight clash with his fellow countryman and World Cup partner. Mickey Mansell. Yeah, and you can see, if you go to pdc.tv, you see the Dutch Darts Masters net zone, you can see the draw and how it all works out. So, Dolan or Kamula plays Mansell. Then that quarter-final between those two plays the winner of the quarter-final between Van Gerwen and Newton. Gets very, very tricky here in the final oh, stages, wow. but when Dolan made it all the way to the final last year, I mean, he, he did beat Anderson, beat obviously Kamula, and then he beat Whitlock the game after that. He's not scared of taking on the big boys, and he is an awkward customer. One of his slow-throwing style. I don't think Van Gerwen, if he does end up facing Dolan, will be able to feed off the rhythm, I mean, like he perhaps did against Kevin Painter when he put in a very solid performance in the opening match of the day. But Kamula has put in a stronger leg here. And Brendan, well, he's left himself a finish, but it is a big one. And he might not have a poke at it, because Kamula should get at least one dart at a double. It is only going to be one. And it's one a double top. Well, there was a chance, but a tall order for Dolan to take out a 1-5-6. Although we did see him. Take out a 167 to beat Ronnie Hybricks last night. But uh, Kamula will be back then for a chance to 60. get a leg on the board. Three darts at double top if needed. Only needs one. And Yarko Kamula's got a leg on the board. So how will Brendan respond to that? It's on his throat. Looking for another sub-15 dart leg. And this is exactly how he'd want to go about it. 180 for Brendan Dolan. First maximum of the match. In fact, that's his first of the tournament. Yes, yeah, quality stuff from the Northern Irishman. The number four seed here. We saw half of the 16 seeds tumble out of the competition yesterday. But Brendan made it through and he'll feel he has every chance and deserves his chance to go all the way and go one better than the final he reached here 100. in Veldhoven back in October. Yeah, ton 80 followed by a ton for Brendan Dolan. 83. And he's in command of this leg. Looking to take a 3-1 lead. Not staying straight there, Brendan. Great adjustment. 156 left. 85. Well, not the end of the world, Brendan. 
No, he looked disappointed with that, but he should have time unless Kamula bangs in a ton 80 here. Is it going to be his second ton 80 of the match? No, not quite. It does draw him pretty much level with his opponent, though. And now, Brendan. If he's not going to take it out, he's got to set it up. Just above the treble bed, he won't mind that so much, because that's exactly what he can do with it. 56 left, and he has set it up. 138, the Della. Oh, Keith Della, when he won the World Championship, certainly didn't hit single five, and certainly didn't follow it with another. Well, that was a poor visit by Camuda. They were well, well short of the treble 20. So Dolan then. Double top again to go 3-1 in front. That's a great marker if he can just yes, yes, slide forward. underneath. That's the way to do it. Textbook yeah. stuff. If you're going to miss that double top, miss it just above the wire and use it to come in and nail your target with your next dart. 46. can see on Brendan's shirt there, the Cleveland Arms. Famous darts pub in Wolverhampton around my neck of the woods. Yes, you went, another, you went another play there, didn't you, the other week? Sample the delights of the Cleveland Arms darts boards. Yeah, there's certainly no darts of the calibre of Brendan Dolan's as he put <laughs> in his second maximum there. And look at that, four, three 14 darters for Brendan Dolan. 16 darter from Yarko. This is the sort of performance that we saw from Joe Cullen against John Park yesterday. Just leg after leg, 15 darts or fewer. Can he continue that? Well, great last dart from Brendan. That keeps him keeps him ahead on the Kamula throw as well. This would be for a second break of throw if he can. But look at this, Yarko Kamula fighting back. Two in the treble 20. Certainly keeps him in this leg, Kamula. Having thrown first. It's a stray dart from Dolan. And now, how much of that treble 20 big can he see? 45. So a chance then for Kamula to uh, power on here and get back to within one leg of his opponent yet again. So that 45 from Brendan Dolan has just surrendered the advantage that he held in this leg on the Kamula throw. But a 140 here. And is he going to stay in the treble 20? Yes, he is. A 140. That leaves him double 18. And Kamula is under all sorts of pressure to take out this 78. Well, he's only going to get one dart. A double top. And he's gone next door. It slipped into the double one. And Brendan Dolan is looking for a second break of throw, a 4-1 lead. And it may prove to be a commanding and decisive one as Brendan Dolan takes it out with absolutely no bother. We said that Kamula played solid darts here last year before Dolan gave him a bit of a hiding and he lost 6-1. Brendan Dolan is on course to dish out a similar sort of beating here. He's throwing for a 5-1 lead. I don't know where that has gone. It's closer to treble 12 than treble 20, but Brendan has not let it affect him at all. And as you can see on the graphic there, it's another sub-15 dart leg. We said it was a bit like Joe Cullen's performance against John Park when of the seven legs they played in a 6-1 victory, Joe's six winning legs were all under 15 darts. Brendan Dolan is on course to do the same. He's averaging just shy of 103 at the moment. Yes, that could have been a pivotal moment in the game. That attempt at double top straying into the double one, allowing Dolan to take a 4-1 lead. Well, even when he's had a bad dart, Brendan, he's usually been able to come back and, and find the treble with either his second or his third one. I mean, you know, the, the previous two visits, he had one go in the five and one nearly at the 12. 
Uh, it was so far away from treble 20. But he's gathered himself and then found the target that he wanted. See, that's a high one, but you wouldn't bet against him finding his target just like he's done there. Another steady ton. Brendan still averaging just over 102. So quality stuff from the number four seed, who's up to 14th in the world now. Yeah, he has been going up and up. I mean, he's made the last 16 of the match play, the Grand Slam, the UK Open, Players' Championships all in 2013. As you'd expect from a man in the top 16 of the world. But it is the world, the World Championships, as he puts in another 140. That's where he, he keeps coming a cropper six times a second round loser. This time it was Gary Anderson who did for him. Look at this, Yarko Kamula. A 180. Maybe he's not quite done yet, the Finn. Second 180 of the match. But Brendan looking to do a leg in under 15 darts again for a 14 darter, double 12, and that's exactly what it is. And he likes it. He likes it a lot. Well, Yarko getting very frustrated with himself at the back of the stage, sort of punching himself in the head before uh, banging in that uh, ton 80. But uh, it was all in vain, and he really is now staring down the barrel. But this would be a great way to start the leg if he could bang in a max maximum. It wasn't to be. So Dolan now just one leg away of victory and setting up a quarter final match against his fellow Northern Irishman. Good friends off the stage, but there'll be no love lost with a pair of them battling for a place in the semi-finals of the Dutch Masters and the four grand in prize money that goes with it. Yeah, and a place against either Michael Van Gogh and Wes Newton in the semi-finals at stake. But look, the job isn't done quite yet. It is going to take something special from Yarko Kamula to turn this around, particularly the way that Brandon's playing. He's averaging 103. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, as they say. I'd be surprised if Brendan doesn't put one in the treble. Is this another 180 coming in? Well, there was plenty of room in the rest of that treble 20 bed to fit a third one in, but wasn't to be, but he is down to a three-dart finish, Kamula, to, to start the fight back. He's got to do something very special, very quickly to stay in this tournament. He will have time to set this shot up. Another one of those would, would have been handy, but still down to a two-darter on his return. Yeah, strong leg from Kamula. He hasn't managed to go out. Well, he's only managed to go out once so far in the match. And that was in more than 15 darts. Is this going to the point where he puts that right? Double top. Double 10. There it is. Yarko Kamula's got another leg on the board. And a solid leg of darts it was too. Yes. Dolan has the throw, throwing for the match then, in this race to six. It was 6-1 when the pair met in the quarter-final here last year. Well, he's improved on that. Exactly, it won't be exactly the same scoreline this year. I mean, at that rate of progress, they'd have to meet every year for the next four years before Yarko can turn <laughs> things around. But as I said, it's not quite over yet. We've seen plenty of players do all the hard work in the early stages of a match, and then it all fall apart when it comes to getting over the finishing line. Brendan Dolan, though, he's so solid, so reliable. You can't see him mentally collapsing. You think it'd have to be Yarko doing something special 
to turn this match on its head. But he's sticking with him here. Both taking out 240 in their first two visits to the board. Can Brendan keep it going? Well, it's a, a wild one, but he's been so good at adjusting from those darts. Can he do it here? Well, no, he can't. So that could be a chance, an opening for Kamula. Will he seize on it? He will to an extent. And it's not a killer blow. But it's certainly one that's got through the defences of Brendan Dolan. Will he strike back? And if so, how hard? A 140 would be pretty hard. But a ton may give him a shot at the match. Kamula has just got to set it up, but Brendan Dolan knows if he can hit that treble 20 with one of his first two darts, 59. he is going to have a dart for the match and a 6-2 victory and a place in the quarterfinals of the Dutch Darts Masters. Starting down on the 19s. Looking for a treble. Can't quite see whether that is in or not. It wasn't, so Dolan hoping that uh, Kamula can't take out Shanghai on the 20s here. And for the first time, Brendan Dolan and a leg. If he does go on to win this leg, it's going to be in more than 15 darts. 54. Because Kamula hasn't even left himself on a one-dart finish which you'd have been looking for. And Brendan Dolan's looking at double 12 for a 6-2 win. Well, that's quite a long way away. He's going to come over for the six. He's missed outside. Is, is that in the way? It might have been. He might have been thinking about it. That is three match darts that have gone begging for Brendan Dolan. Well, he can't believe it. Kamula can't believe it. Uh, he's got a chance to stay alive in this game. Treble 10 would have left uh, double 18, so it's double 18 now for 5 3. Well, he's managed to get that one in the bag and he is throwing to pull it back to 5 4. Now, make no mistake, Brendan Dolan is still very much in the driver's seat here. But two legs on the spin for Kamula. He might start believing that this is possible. He must have been thinking about that 6-1 win that Dolan recorded over him here in their only meeting to date. Must that, and Dave Chisnell and Adrian Lewis, two stars of the Premier League, may have to wait a little bit longer before they take to the stage here. That's the next match-up. Here in the NH Koninghof Hotel in Veldhoven, just outside Eindhoven, we are in Holland this weekend for the Dutch Masters. Well, Dolan has stolen the darts here. And he is looking to end this right here, right now. Back to back 140s to start the leg. Kamula's scrapping, fighting to stay alive in this one. He's won two in a row. He needs to win the next three as well. But Dolan's got 35 points on him here and three darts in his hand. Looking to give himself a finish and he is going to do that. And he's going to leave himself a very handy one. Because it's a maximum. And Brendan Dolan, surely, surely now. That will seal the deal. He's going to have two more match darts. He's missed three. Kamula is nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So to set up a quarter-final against his Northern Irish teammate, Mickey Mansell, he wants double 16. Well, a 
Look of horror on his face. Double eight now. And he does it. He does the job. Kamula's progress halted. And for the second year running, Dolan beats Kamula in this Dutch Masters. So it'll be Dolan against Mickey Mantle, the second quarter final this evening. But the third round continues next in a couple of minutes' time. Two Englishmen who won't hang around.